Hey okay. guys, it's Luke Freer from 2029C, and I'm joined by... Isabella from 667A. And today we're going to do a match analysis of Qual 69 at the mall event happening today and tomorrow. And as you can see, starting off already, we have uh, BarkBots, 9364E, 1000A, and 9651X. And BarkBots here filling up a goal very quickly, so how do you feel about that? Like within 10 seconds, like just having that, that, like that flexibility with their color sorting mech allows them to dominate the field if they do so if yeah. they do so yeah <laughs> i mean right away they actually camp this corner so the strategy for their match i think for the right team is just taking advantage of how fast their and effective their mechanisms is, is and just taking advantage and trying to c control both corners but in this match they actually ended up not being able to control both corners and i feel like the camping strategy has been working very well at mall uh, mall of america and a lot of teams here are actually going to try to, I mean, play that strategy out tomorrow. And I feel like this match goes to show a great way that that strategy can actually go wrong. Yeah, you could have seen like a few times that BarkBots or 9364E could have dropped off or gained another goal, especially that middle one, and get that swing, that point swing to their side. And right now they're in deficit and they don't even realize. And they're still camping and not yeah, really I mean, taking... Absolutely. So at the start of the match here, of course, like they're like they were up a lot. But the thing is, I mean, they were camping even though... Uh, especially here was a good time that the BarkBots could have played aggressively because both of the blue alliances was distracted by their teammate and they were just kind of stuck in the corner. See, they were getting pinned and BarkBots here totally could have gone for this middle uh, yeah. mogul here and just brought it along to themselves or uh, called it for a trade-off for 9364E here and uh, traded off the goals here. And I mean, having one robot defend two goals is kind of exactly what you want to happen here, right? Yeah, exactly. Again, leaving 9364E, having to do that 2v1 for that full time and not really scoring or gaining any points, again, is another reason why I think BarkBots lost this match because they haven't really gained those offensive opportunities throughout the match. They've just been staying defensive, staying safe with their 30 points right there or so in that corner. I mean, yeah, right when... Uh, I mean, right about here is where the tide starts changing, right? Because blue is about to get, uh, blue just got control of more goals than red. And I mean, there's still yeah. quite a lot of time for blue to kind of just score rings. And that's exactly what they do. They started scoring rings on those goals. And I mean, yeah. as they put more rings on there, the differential uh, that originally red was ahead by is starting to you know, be uh, made up by blue. In this scenario, you usually see like a claw mech or a wall stake mech, like 360X would be very useful, especially because of that, just all goals being filled up, which I really like throughout this, again, this early season bot, seeing 360X's bot being so useful when it comes to scoring those high stakes and allowing for more strategies and adaptability through different times of the yeah, game. I mean, with, with, with Iron Eagles here playing a lot of defense, instead of doing that, I mean, if they had a wall stake mech i feel like they could have given the the, the other goal here to to yeah. bark bots having two in the corner in the double uh double point corner would have been huge and then themselves would have been able to play on the high stakes as well as defending maybe right and it's, that would have yeah. given them up to uh, given them to a lot more opportunities to make more points right especially now that they're at a deficit and no no team is or especially bark bots is doing significant action to get that swing to their side that's again you need I mean, here, like right here is where, I mean, they make the uh, the biggest mistake here is leaving that red goal out in the open, undefended, and just super, super close to the negative point zone, right? And to a blue team, right? So, I mean, they both drop off the, the, their goals here, both very close to, uh, to the negative point zone. But then blue is the only one who actually, you know, made the play off here and just completely uh, settled the case for this match and uh, made an upset. And yeah, and that's uh, about it for what we have today. And if you guys have any uh, suggestions for other matches that we want to, that you guys want us to review, you guys can leave that in the comments. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. And thank you, Isabella, for hosting with me.